Hello, this is Andromeda's Wake. On August the 10th, my friend This Was a Triumph posted a video response to a Christian homophobe on YouTube called Daniel Owen. I find Daniel's opinions to be particularly low and despicable myself, but I will let you make up your own mind. Another point why homosexuality is wrong um, is because it's absolutely filthy, it's disgusting and absolutely immoral and absolutely ridiculous. Deep down you would agree that that is absolutely ridiculous and uh, pathetic really. What I've already explained is quite clear that it's wrong, isn't it really? This is the Holy Bible. Triumph's video was, as you'll see, the usual cut and response affair, but on August the 11th, Daniel filed a false DMCA notice against it. He seems to be blissfully unaware that in doing so, he has broken the law by committing an act of perjury, which in the United Kingdom is punishable by fine, or imprisonment, or in some cases, both. And, uh, that's quite stupid really, isn't it? Do rest assured that this was a triumph and the lawman, DPR Jones, are taking the appropriate course of action. If you've been subscribed to me for any amount of time, you're probably aware that I abhor censorship in all of its forms, and I would like to ask you to please mirror this video and spread it as best you can. Thank you, and clear skies. Let's imagine that you grow up in a home without a father. So you grow up in a home without a dad. And you've never had any love from any male uh, throughout all your life. And when you get to the age of about 16, you say to yourself, I've been longing to have a father. I've been longing to have love from a man because I've seen all my friends have a loving relationship with their fathers, with their dads. And I've missed out on all that and I long to be loved by a man. So I'll become a homosexual. Quickly, run. Run and tell all the townspeople you've discovered the secret behind sexual preferences. Of course, I doubt you've run any experiments on test cases to really ascertain if a lack of a mother or father makes a child become a homosexual, but hey, let's not nitpick. No, wait, we, we should nitpick, because sexuality is innate, it's inbuilt, it occurs in the animal kingdom as much as with humans. Go and research it. If you want to pit yourself against all previous research on homosexuality, which arrives at the conclusion that it's entirely natural, innate, and nothing to be worried about, that's pretty cool. Presumably you must have a stack of papers ready to submit for peer review. So it's important to understand why people um, are like that, why people turn to homosexuality. Those are the main reasons. No, they're not. But for some particular reason they decide to be homosexual, they decide to have a, a girlfriend if they are a girl, or they decide to have a, a boyfriend if they are a, a boy, and uh, possibly have a, have a marriage together. And um, the reason why they want that is because that seems to be the way of the world at the moment. Uh, I'll try that because uh, everyone else is doing it. By everyone, do you mean about one in ten people? Homosexuals don't try their sexuality any more than you try yours. You're attracted to the opposite sex, they're attracted to the same sex, and there the matter rests. You see, the problem with um, homosexuality is, um, well, first of all, God made Adam and Eve, man and woman, and he told them to um, multiply and uh, have descendants and fill the earth. Then why aren't you fucking people right now? If we're going to take scripture as authority, then obviously we need to try a few other religions. Have you ever tried Islam? Because according to those guys, you are so boned. Now, if God created two men, then how would they possibly uh, multiply? I imagine they would investigate surrogacy or IVF or adoption. You know, all the usual possibilities that a couple unable to naturally conceive can pursue. So if, if um, all the oval men had uh, boyfriends and all the girls had girlfriends and then eventually the human race is going to go. And uh, that's quite stupid really, isn't it? That is a brilliantly simplistic response. The historical trend for homosexuality in society is roughly 10% of the population. Even if homosexuality became a dominant sexual preference, why on earth do you think people would let the human race die out? 
Let me ask you this. If an infertile heterosexual couple can create a baby, which they can, why can't a homosexual couple do the same thing? Obviously, you don't think that they should, because you're a bigoted fuck. But since your worry, apparently, is the extinction of the entire human race, surely if homosexuals are able to create a baby, they should go for it. Another point why homosexuality is wrong um, is because it's absolutely filthy. It's disgusting. Bravo. Bravo. That is just superb. The argument from emotion. Did you even bother to qualify your statement? No, of course you didn't. But seriously, imagine. Just imagine. If a lot of people decided that belief in Christ, for example, was filthy and disgusting, and they were justified in physically or verbally assaulting you by the word of their scripture, wouldn't that be a terrifying world to live in? Oh shit, wait, they exist, they're called fundamentalist Muslims. And uh, imagine that your son says, Dad, Mother, I want to have a boyfriend. I'm going to get a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. What would you think about that? Would you think that's absolutely filthy and absolutely immoral and absolutely ridiculous? I think you would, wouldn't you really? I think deep down you would agree that that is absolutely ridiculous and uh, pathetic, really. Fortunately, I'm not a bigoted twat. I'd just like to point something out. Jaladrin has this on his channel. I want everyone watching to try and reconcile the level of vitriolic idiocy against homosexuality with this claim that everyone is his friend, because that's interesting double thing, wouldn't you agree? And also, let's imagine that um, uh, two lesbians, homosexuals, two girlfriends are living together, and they want to have a child. But wait. Surely that would mean they can't, because same-sex couples can't have children. You said so yourself. The world is doomed. So what they decide to do is um, go to a, a laboratory, um, get the sperm from uh, another random male, have it placed inside one of them, and then they have a child together. Jaladrin, I love you. I literally love you. You have toppled your own watery mouthful of an argument in one fell swoop. If lesbians can go to a laboratory and have a child together, doesn't that sort of negate it when you say this? So if, if um, all the oval men had uh, boyfriends and all the girls had girlfriends, and then eventually the human race is going to go... Anyway. And then that child has two mothers. No father, but two mothers. What do you think that is going to do to the child? Um, nothing. Why would it do anything? Or imagine, imagine um, a child who has two fathers. I've spotted yet another fatal flaw. You can only talk about what you imagine or what you feel. If you can conduct clinical trials to show the validity of your assumptions, then go for it. Otherwise, you saying you imagine something is going to happen is just your own bigotry. People say homosexuality is right, and there is nothing wrong with it, and that's what many people say. But from what I've already explained, it's quite clear that it's wrong, isn't it, really? All you've explained is a slew of ill-informed, biased, and horribly personal attacks on people who contradict the holy book that you've arbitrarily decided to dedicate your life to. It sure is fortunate you don't live in a fundamentalist Islamic state, isn't it? No revilers, no extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Wait a second. You're a reviler. You revile people. Does that mean you're fucked as well? Well, homosexuality is wrong, immoral, filthy, ridiculous, devilry, evil, satanic. And maybe you should read uh, the Holy Bible as well, and just to see what God says about it as well, but he clearly says that he's wrong. If you take that literally, you should take the following literally as well. No work of any kind on the Sabbath, no eating pork, no eating shellfish, no wearing clothes made of two different materials, no sowing fields of different kinds of seed at the same time, no tattoos, no getting angry, no calling anyone father. Father. A father. A fathers. A father. Two fathers. Let me ask you one thing. Nothing more. Did you think homosexuality was filthy and disgusting and ridiculous and wrong before you became a Christian? Was it really the Bible that convinced you? Or did you think it before discovering a religion that legitimizes petty hatred of 10% of the Earth's entire population? Bye now. Father, a father, a fathers, a father. I've been longing to have lesbians, absolutely filthy lesbians. I think deep down you would agree that that is absolutely normal.